Now, drive to Heathridge whilst listening to Rock or Bust. There you go. Oh, well, Simon Lee, back in on Wednesday. Uh, thank you very much for another great show, Simon. And the dad jokes were just superb. <laughs> uh, look, I'm going to kick off tonight's show with some um, some Australian classic, Deborah Conway and the Divinals. How's that? Some uh, classic Australian music to get the show going tonight. Rock or Bust on Coops. Thanks for listening. Oh, what have we done, Simon? What have we done? The track you just heard there was called Sons of Odin from Bolivar Cola out of Russia. Uh, Beast, The Beast is the name of the EP and they brought it out 2015. And I was just uh, read an interesting little thing about that particular track is there is a, there's an actual verse of Norwegian poetry in the lyrics of the track and they reckon that they just about blew up the um, translator trying to translate the Norwegian um into Russia when they were doing it so they could get it to English. Kind of interesting kind of things that you read about. You know, that was Bolivar Cola. And now I'm going to say hello to Bevan Luna in Colorado. How you doing, Bevan? Doing great. How are you? Yeah, really, really well. Um, yeah, look, I was so, so pleased to... Um, I mean, obviously, I missed you, the, the actual live stream the other day when you, you were at Washington's and because um, I was on, on air here at HFM doing my breakfast show. But uh, I did watch it afterwards. Great little show. Uh, Great, thank you. I'm glad you checked it out. And certainly something different with the the COVID restrictions and all that. Um, kind of really, really odd not having a crowd, but uh, but doing like a full show. Yeah, it was really bizarre to have this silence. I mean, complete silence. I've definitely experienced that at shows before, but not to that extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was so, certainly like uh, like the gaps, wasn't it? When you when you kind of had you, you're trying to encourage people to to stream and to and to put things on on the laptop, but you've still got to sort of wander out of the laptop and read it. Whereas it's just not that that same spontaneity. Yeah, exactly. Um, it was it was nice to have the computer to feel connected to people and not just really not know what's going on and kind of speak with people who were, you know, attending and, and commenting and things like that. So it kind of made it feel like we were engaged with the community, but um, it still was pretty strange to have an empty room that, you know, the floor is uh, full of cameras and tripods and things like that to record the live stream. So it's a completely different experience than 900 people that could be in there filling that space. So it's a 900 person venue. It's a nice looking venue. Yeah, it's really nice. It's state of the art. It's pretty new to Northern Colorado. Um, it used to be, uh, an old sports bar that all the college kids hung out in and they, you know, buy 25 cent beers and things like that and uh, cheap burgers. But now it's it's been converted into this amazing new venue with, you know, the latest technology and all of their sound systems. So it's pretty cool to have the opportunity to play there. So, so I suppose I would have started that kind of renovation type work before COVID came along? Yeah, that was, I think it was a couple of years ago that they renovated and it actually opened. Um, it's a cool old building. It's a sandstone building that was built in like 1903 um, here in Fort Collins. So it's got a lot of history to it. So, um, so tell us, tell us about your band. Um, the, the people that people that don't know, um, I, Bevan and I have had a, a kind of a relationship through music for a little while. When I did one of these um, She Who Rocks type episodes some time back, I, I stumbled across your um, album. Um, was it? Attack of the Killer Redheads. That's one. Oh yeah, that was the first one. <laughs> that was the first one. Yeah, I stumbled across that, and that's when I that's when I first sort of played your music, and we, you know, you sort of um, connected through. I don't know where it was at Facebook or Twitter or whatever it was. And um, yeah, I think it was Bandcamp, maybe. Maybe Bandcamp, yeah, maybe Bandcamp. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but obviously, you've had some changes to the lineup. I think your brother was in the lineup at one time, but he's not not now. Yeah. Um, my brother, Gabe Luna, he um, was the original member of the band. Um, we've been playing music together for a long time, being, you know, brother and sister. Um, so he recorded with me on the Attack of the Killer Redheads and on Baby Dragon. He's currently working on his own project. It's called Innsmouth. And uh, as soon as he's finished with his album, I'm going to send it your way because I think you're really going to love it. It's really okay, thank rock. you very much. Yeah, I think you'll really, really enjoy it. So um, he's busy doing his own project right now and... Um, just uh, really excited to get that album released. It's been last stages, and so um, can't wait for that to come out. So how long has he been working on it? Oh, he's been working on this one for a while. I would say at least the last five years. Wow, okay. That is a, that, that is a labor of love, isn't it? 
Yeah, he, he actually, um, he was living in Memphis, which is where we're from, and then um, he moved out here to Fort Collins shortly after we recorded Attack of the Killer Redheads, and then he's been balancing sort of, you know, getting settled into a new place and then also trying to finish his album, and he does everything on the album. He plays drums, bass, guitar, he sings, he does it all, so it's pretty impressive. Oh, I'm seriously jealous. I, I, I just don't have the, the patience to learn a musical instrument. But doesn't 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 mean I don't enjoy my music. <laughs> but it's always someone else's music. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. But yeah, the current the current lineup is um, you know Lance Ruby. You saw him playing with us. Yeah. Um, and then also Justin Mall and then Morgan Coley on the drums. Um, so you know everyone. I feel like we're all playing in different bands and everybody has different projects. So they have a number of different bands that they all play with and we just sort of try to balance it out and get time to play shows together when we can, especially in the pandemic time. It's been pretty challenging. Yeah, so, so how, how is that going around Fort Collins? You were saying the other day when I was chatting with you that, um, that Colorado's kind of not too bad in, in as far as the situation goes. Yeah, I think um, we're definitely in better shape than a lot of the other states right now. Um, we're not perfect, but we, we definitely have somewhat of a control over it and the numbers are starting to decline with the pandemic um i know that it's been challenging for a lot of bands around here though because we do have a pretty active music scene in northern colorado um and so a lot of people have lost their income and ability to play shows and so that's been pretty um harsh but we do have a really cool um foundation here called the bohemian foundation and they support musicians quite a bit through grants and uh, they have a place called the music district and uh They've been really trying to help people out with resources and connecting them. Oh, um, excellent. So they excellent. can get some income, yeah. Yeah, some, some good support services. I mean, we've been fairly lucky here in Western Australia. Um, Perth, I don't know if you know it or not, is the most isolated capital city in the world. Um, yes, I did read that. <laughs> <laughs> so so as, as a state, we've been, we've been pretty lucky and we're, we're a huge state. I mean, our, our state, will, you could fit Alaska and Texas and a whole lot more inside our state. Um, that's wow. it, that's how big it is. So when you talk about big, Texas is big. It's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not everything's bigger in Texas. Everything's no. bigger in Perth. Uh, well, in Western Australia, yes, it, it's, it's a huge, it's a huge landmass for a for a single um, single state. Yes, uh, massive. Like, like I, you can drive, uh, you you can start driving in Perth and still be in Western Australia driving twenty four hours straight straight up north. That's, that's incredible. I'd yeah. love to come visit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, one one day, yes, one day. <laughs> when everything's back to normal. But, well, yeah, well, let's hope that, let's hope that happens. Um, yeah, so I suppose we kind of let's let's get to the to the gig, and then um, as you know, I've, I've I've lined up three of your tracks. One of them is that uh, cover by um, that you do of um, Nina Simone's Baltimore, which I love. I'm gonna gonna kick it off with that. Um, okay, great. And then uh, thirty miles gone and volatile or stable that are both tracks you had from um, from Baby Dragon. Okay, yeah, great. Um, but yeah, uh, look, I'm I'm really really pleased that you allowed me to to, to play it. And like I said, I've, I've kind of tw- switched things around and I've left a lot of the banter in there, uh, especially the bit about uh, what's the name? Is it Morgan? Is it um, Morgan? Yeah, his his um, his COVID wedding wedding. <laughs> If anyone anyone listening uh, wants to know when when um, when you check out my AMRAP page where all the tracks are logged, um, I do have a link inside each of the three um, songs of Bevan's that has will take you to her Facebook page, uh, and you can see the uh, the whole show that um, you can check it out and, and it is it is a great show. Um, couple of, couple Thanks of covers so in there, and <laughs> well, I think it's. A, it, Nothing more to do really than say um, thank you very much and, and good night or good morning to you. And what is it, just about coming up to 7am? Yeah, so <laughs> 8 minutes till 7, so the sun just came up. It's pretty early and uh, going to get ready for the day after this. So thanks for having me. Oh, when have you got new music coming out? I mean, we've spoken about your brother. What about yourself? Yeah, um, we're working on getting back into the studio really soon, actually. I have some new tracks that we've been passing back and forth. You know, it's been... Um, kind of limited access with uh, getting together with the band except for you know, our rehearsals for these shows but um, we've been passing some new songs back and forth and adding tracks in our own home studios and then 
hoping to get it into the studio in the fall. So probably early spring, have a new project out, which oh. I'm really excited about. So spring there is autumn here. Yeah, that's next year, isn't it, too? Yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to do the seasons in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so maybe March or April. <laughs> Oh, look, thank you very much for chatting with us and um, allowing me to, to, to play these songs. Um, Absolutely. Look, great. Uh, listeners, say thank you to, 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 Bevan, to Bevan Luna and um, we'll catch you somewhere on the airways very, very soon. Um, say so, thank you very much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a good day or evening. <laughs> or evening. Well, let's press this button and get the music started. Oh, you know, we've got this funny mouse now that's got it's one mouse, two computers. And I, I mean, where's my, where's, my little, where's my little mouse pointer? Because it's on the other computer. <laughs> 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 oh, ladies and gentlemen, Bevan, Bevan Luna from uh, Fort Collins in Colorado. Uh, thank you very much. Let's have a listen to three tracks of hers now. Uh, Baltimore, cover of Anina, Simone's song, 30 Miles Gone and Volatile or Stable. Thank you very much, Bevan. Absolutely, thank you. Cheers. Good night. Oh, good morning. <laughs>
Give it up for Nina, y'all. Give it up for Nina Simone and that beautiful song. Nina Simone. She covered it. It was actually a Randy Newman tune, but I definitely like her version way better. I do like his version, too, though. It's beautiful. Same dude that did the uh, Toy Story stuff, right? That's There's a snake yeah. in my boot. And he did all the songs for Three Amigos. Did y'all know that? The dude that did Toy Story did all the songs for Three Amigos, too. Wow. Yeah? True story. Look up here. <laughs> Look up here. What do we have on the internet, Bevan? Is my mom? Is my mom on the internet yet? Yay. Hi, Mom. Hi, Martha. I'm Joe. Hey, Martha. How's it going? Nice to meet you. You just made her year. I like how Joe, Joe Shiki's like, Lance, your mom's here. <laughs> Thanks for all the rave reviews, you guys. Send some questions, too. Everybody's saying it sounds great, so that's great news. Cool. If you got any questions for anybody. Cyberly give it up for the uh, Washington Sound Group. Exactly. Crew. They're doing a great job. Yeah, can we please give it up for the sound crew, the camera crew? Everyone's been here working all day long. We've got Chris and Doug and Steve and Andrew and Kevin and am I forgetting anyone? I don't know, but you guys are stellar. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Just sitting there very still. Very quietly. Like, not cheap. There, there they are. <laughs> there was a chair. <laughs> yes, we got the lights out. A couple of arms going up. All right, you guys are working. We don't want to interrupt your work day. Perfect. Oh, Morgan, your wife is on here now. Oh. Katie's talking to you. So That's say right. something to your wife. That's right. Hey, everybody, I'm married. Morgan just got married last month? Woo! July 25th. Can cheer down. Yeah. Can cheer. Tell them congratulations. Throw, let's see those hearts spraying through across that screen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think I've worn my wedding ring a total of like seven times. I'm terrible at it. How was your COVID wedding? Like, how did that work out? How many, like... Well, we gave everybody COVID, so nobody had to worry about it. <laughs> and then we got married, and we all parted. No, no, it was it was uh, wonderful and fantastic and beautiful with Katie's family and our wedding party uh, in Yankton, South Dakota. Yeah. For some reason, I thought it was Nebraska. Well, it's right on the border. One of my see, see, see on the Nebraska side, they don't have strip clubs. Got it. Okay, I see why you went to South Dakota. Oddly enough, there is one there. <laughs> okay, this next tune I wrote about my cousin um, who passed away a while ago. It's probably been about 15 years. This is called uh, 30 Miles Gone. And if anybody out there in Pennsylvania is listening, this is for you. We love you. And uh, think about you all the time, Sean. Let's see. Let me tune this a little bit more. Sorry.
so much. All right, I see Darren Raddick out there from Stout Studios. Thanks, Darren, for tuning in. Also, Chris Jankowski. I used to play rugby with her years ago. Hi, Chris. We've been thinking a lot about how everything's been so crazy and negative and wild and chaotic in the world. And the thing that keeps coming back to me is I keep thinking about three words, joy and tolerance and empathy. Those three things we need so bad right now. So if you all have instances where that's been happening to you lately, where you found joy and you found empathy and you found tolerance in your life, please share those in the comments so we can talk about that a little bit. Everything's been so crazy and negative lately. It's just nice to talk about things that are happening that are actually good in this world. And we have to remember that stuff. So blow that shit up, please talk to us. I've got five words that are um, an alternative, but not necessarily different. What you got? Person, woman, man, camera, TV. Someone got it. I passed the cognitive test. You passed. They're in tears out there, I swear Long, to God. Slow clap in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was called Ball Soldier Stable. It's on the latest album, Baby Dragon. And that's where we'll leave uh, Biv and Luna uh, right now. Um, if you want to catch the whole show, um, it is on the 
on her Facebook page or the ban, the, her Facebook ban, ban Facebook page. You know what I mean. There's a link there to uh, check out the whole performance, uh, Bev and Luna and Ban from um, Washington's Foco, as they say, Fort, Col- Fort, Col- uh, Fort Collins in Colorado. Um, after after we finished chatting with uh, with Bevan on air, she uh, mentioned that uh, Lance Ruby, the new guitarist in the band, she was actually taking guitar lessons from him, and um, from that interaction became he became a, a member of the band. So there you go. Uh, he's uh, uh, got a, a guitar, a brand new guitar that's been custom made for him from a guy called. Uh, I can't remember his first name, but Thorrell is the brand, Thorrell Guitars. And I think it's been made out of some old piece of timber and um, really ancient and, and really, really nice looking guitar. If you have a look on the on the uh, video clip, you'll see it really is a nice looking guitar. Um, and he is uh, one of the bands he was with, this uh, Lance Ruby, uh, is called Musketeer Gripweed. So I've got to go and check those guys out. Uh, uh, thanks again to uh, to Bevan for uh, allowing me to, to play those tunes. I hope you enjoyed them. 107.3 HFM. It is, wow, it's uh, quarter past nine uh, on this Monday night. Rock or bust with you until 11 or thereabouts. Uh, right now we're going to Japan uh, from last year. Uh, they're called Mary's Blood. This is Labyrinth of the Abyss from the Confessions album. Tonight's tune, so thank you very much to uh, Bevan Luna for um, giving us her time and allowing us to play some of the music that uh, went on their live stream on the weekend. I believe she's still listening, so um, thank you again very much for that. going to leave you right now with uh, Courtney Barnett. You can catch me again next Monday, 7 o'clock here on HFM doing something similar. Won't be um, all female artists next week. It'll be something else, but we'll work it out. Um, And uh, Saturday morning, 7 o'clock, if you want to catch two hours of Australian tunes of a slightly more mellow nature, um, I'll be in for the Big Aussie Breakfast, 7 a.m. here in HFM. Uh, Tomorrow, TC kicking off the day at 6 o'clock with the breakfast show. We got Mark, we got Bodie, we have, uh, what's it, Tuesday, Dave K for the drive, um, the dropout, uh, what the nerd, uh, BRL, big day tomorrow here on HFM. Uh, good night, stay safe, keep away from COVID and enjoy some Courtney Barnett. It was uh, live uh, MTV in, uh, oh, I'm trying to think where it was, um, Brunswick, the Howler in Brunswick, Melbourne, uh, October last year. Going to leave you with three tracks from that set. Uh, there's a few more on it if you go and buy the album. I think there's about eight tracks on it. Deep Preston, Sunday Rose and Avant Gardner from Courtney Barnett. Enjoy. Catch you next week. Stay safe.